Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow passenger stopping in with some technical details on the ADA BTC pairing and also the ADA USD pairing. Cardano is what we're going over today. We'll be exploring this very briefly, so stick around with me until the end if you're new. Welcome. Uh, consider hitting the subscribe button if you find any valuable information in the uh, video here. I actually want to point out a pattern. Maybe a lot have seen this, but I want to kind of present it to you if someone has not shown you just yet. Loyal subscribers, welcome back. As the YouTube algorithm, of course, is promoting the channel. Thank you to your engagement, your appropriate thumbs and comments. It's promoting very nicely. Thank you for that, everyone. Okay. So let's see what we have on the menu. I'm going to reveal the chart or the, yeah, the pattern. So let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's February the 20th, 2021, and the current price in BTC, it's Satoshi's, where it's like pennies and a dollar for BTC. It's 2014 sats is what we call it, okay? Satoshi, sats, okay? It's up approximately 21.5% for the day here's a pattern that i found uh, let me know if down in the comment section has anyone shown you this pattern before here's it goes here it is that's it it's an inverted head and shoulders pattern it's a very large inverted head and shoulders pattern where for those of you who just don't know what that is it's basically a bullish pattern where it kind of this is the neckline here if i'm just kind of pointing it out right there like i'll sweep the arrow that's the neckline right there so when the the satoshi value actually breaks above the neckline if you even notice, it was like even like a back test there, uh, insinuating that the price wants to continue higher and the sellers aren't going to be able to push this price down. Not right now, at least. This isn't a video insinuating it's time to buy Cardano. OK, so let's be, be clear about that. Uh, assess your risk tolerance. Uh, execute your strategies. Know how much you're going to risk. Know where you're going to take profits and know where you're going to set a stop loss if this market goes against you by listening to someone like myself talking about cryptos on YouTube. OK, the overhead target the technical target out of this very large uh, inverted head and shoulders uh, remember bulls and this is just my conservative target okay i'm pretty sure the the fundamentals on the card are like extremely good and it's going to go like exponentially higher i get it but the tar the technical target is 2444 so 2444 sats and satoshis okay let's do a really quick measurement of uh, as far as how much of a percentage that would be to the upside so from the current level up to that is going to be so it's like 20%. It's like, it's not a huge deal. I honestly think it may blow. Like, it, I think it's going to totally disrespect this target because I don't know. It's just, I, I think it's going to go higher, but that's the technical target. I guess that's the conservative play. Um, if you do play that, of course, just keep some cryptos in the market just in case we're up against a very uh, aggressive move to the upside, potentially even the all time highs. Uh, let's just do a measurement of that very briefly. Excuse me, that's about 202%. Again, let me know down in the comment section. I'm sure I'm way off about that, and I'm sure this crypto is about to literally explode 500%. Give me your price targets down in the comment section, and as you're doing that, I'll go ahead and carry on to the ADA and USD pairing. By the way, that was the um, the Binance chart, okay? So just so that we're all clear, tradingview.com, Binance chart for the Cardano and BTC pairing. Next up, we have ad and the usd pairing i didn't find a pattern for this uh this is going to be the bitrix chart uh but i did find the previous level of resistance we're going to crank it down to the 12 hours short video thanks for stopping in with me guys let's go ahead and uh, close this out so the previous level of resistance from a 12 hours perspective here on this chart would be that's just in case there's a retracement which I, i'm not sure if that's going to happen or not i don't know i don't I'm not investing in Cardano, just so I'm transparent with everyone. Uh, we'll be down here at about 94 cents. So if that were the case, that would be perfectly in line with the, the trend. So Cardano is in a beautiful uptrend. BTC, not so much, is in an uptrend, but the uh, the Cardano, yeah, it's in a beautiful uptrend. Undeniable, very aggressive. Can you see that? Sorry about that, guys. Let me see if I can pull up uh, higher time frames. There we are. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's in a very aggressive. You see that? Just kind of walking up the stairs very nicely uh, more of like uh, just a very aggressive breakout i can't really say it's a trend Let, let's say it's a trend i'm so technical it's in a beautiful uptrend okay so right now the line it needs to stay above again is at a, approximately 94 cents if it stays above there yeah i don't see why cardano would stop here uh it's just going to continue to walk up the stairs it's, it looks really good uh let's do a really quick percentage of how how much it would go a decline uh, just in case, I'm not saying this is going to happen. 17% to the downside of the previous level of resistance. If it continues higher, let's see if we bring out the fib. I know this. I know some saying, come on, guys, you can't do that. This, this isn't like a regular stock. You can't do the, 
the 1.27 measurement because it's a regular it's not a regular stock i get it guys okay this is all i have for now so yeah it looks like it already blew past that level at uh the one two points the one 0.27 for my guys who are just kind of new to technical analysis what you do is when you're trying to find the the target overhead after the market has retraced let me just kind of do the path and we'll close it out here notice here where it kind of like it goes up like up and then it kind of goes down and then it goes up the way that you find the target in the traditional markets i know i get it i get it guys okay in the traditional markets which probably is not going to apply to this you start from the highest wick i measure the wicks the highest level here which is at like 98 cents and then i measure it all the way down to the lowest wick here which is at like 69 cents and then you take your fibonacci retracement tool and you start at the top and then you go to the bottom okay you're, you're measuring the top to the bottom to find where it could potentially go to the upside if that makes sense so like if it's going up down you want to know where it's going to go up to right so you you pull up your 1.27 on the Fibonacci retracement, which is this yellow line, and that's how you get the overhead targets with when the market has retraced. So that's again, I'm pretty sure it's different in crypto, guys. Go ahead and slaughter me down in the comment section. I know it's it's different, but that's all I have for you, wonderful folks. Uh, I only have the previous level of resistance for this eight. Uh, Cardano and USD pairing um, just in case there's a retracement. I'm not sure how high it's going to go. I mean, it could just continue to the upside. I'll, I'll just throw a number out there. Let's just say it'll go up to a dollar and 30, right? A dollar and 30 cents and just, I don't know, keep going. I, I, don't, I don't have an overhead target. I just have the previous level of resistance. Let's give it time. This way I can like find a pattern because notice something like this area here. See how this is like it's you can actually uh, understand the the range, something like this. So I'd have to give the price or the cryptocurrency at least some time to find a new range. This way I can actually measure, you know, a consolidation range and then we can potentially dictate where the market is going to go next. So that's all I have for you, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if there was any value in this video. Uh, thank you for your time. We're going to cut out here before you go. If you knew we covered the traditional markets, I'm not sure if you're into stocks but we cover that seven days a week we'd love for you to join us hit the subscribe button and the all we'll send you that information when it is available and i think we covered everything yes good out we go take care of yourselves protect your portfolio execute your strategies we're going to talk very soon and bye for now